it's taste pink of trust thy trust.com and when i get creative frankly amazing things happen and in preparation for spring and the festival season i wanted to give you volume bold texture color dimension character all wrapped in one and to be honest this creative experiment was a success so i'm going to take you all along the creative process in honor of black history month you can use any of the discount codes on eligible purchases from now until february 28th so happy shopping this all started with a braided wig cap yep very simple i have all products listed in the description box but you guys know i'm very big on securing the wig okay so use those t-pins accordingly as for the hair, I'm using the Lulu Tress Water Wave 18 inch in colors 30, T1B 30, T1B 27. And the first color we're working with is the color number 30. You guys see the tight coils of the Water Wave? You can definitely separate this hair, but it does give you a little bit of frizz, but we're gonna show you how to manage all of that. Now, when you're making a crochet wig, how much volume do you want? You know what I'm saying? For me, I've always loved really big hair. Tell me what your preference is. Take the poll so I know. Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Since I never made a unit with this particular texture, there's a lot of trial and error. And that's what I love about the creative process. It kind of keeps it fun. I didn't really know how many times to knot it. So for the first row, I just knotted the hair about three to four times. But I was like, we can take this up a notch because the knots are kind of slipping a little bit more than I'm accustomed to. So I said, let's try about, so I said, let's try about four to six knots. Yes, okay, I think six knots is actually the best. Now, believe this or not, I tried to crochet a full piece you know, without separating the hair and it's super bulky. I actually do not like the way that this looks. Even with three knots, it just doesn't look sturdy. It doesn't look neat. It slips a great deal. But if you want to use that, you know, just I'm letting you know what you're up against, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think separating each curl about one to two times max is appropriate. Again, I want it to have volume, but I want the curl definition to be very prominent. I don't want it to get lost because I've separated the hair too much and the curls just look distressed. We want to give the girls texture, but we don't want to give them frizz and a mess. Now I'm packing in the hair. I'm typically spacing the knots anywhere from one to one and a half finger widths apart. But I realized like, yo, this wig is getting thick. You guys couldn't see the bottom until the end. I'll show you how the end looks, but it was getting voluminous. So I said, okay, once I reach about the midpoint of the braided wig cap, I'm going to start spacing the knots about two finger widths apart. Anytime you're creating a unit using a braided wig cap, it is not necessary to utilize every braid on the cap. You can either space the hair more far apart on specific braids within the cap, or you can completely avoid crocheting hair on to a particular braid. Whichever option you prefer, just know you have options. Don't fill up every braid, it's not necessary. I did that here because this is indeed a creative process for me. I am taking notes, I am, you know, recording all of my findings because honey this is, this is this is my business here so i have to be able to you know have something to recall some notes to look back on so that's why i do all the brunt of the work so i can give you guys these insightful tutorials so now i'm moving on to color t1b27 you guys can see it's a little bit lighter than the color number 30 that we previously crocheted in but this is going to allow for dimension and at around this point, I've reached about the crown section of the cap. So this is where, again, you can begin to space your knots a little bit closer because you want maximum fullness at the top of your cap so that your knots aren't too exposed. Again, I am securing the hair by making about five to six knots. It is exhausting on the wrist, the fingers to do six knots, but that made me feel the most comfortable. Now I'm just freestyling and crocheting in the color T1B30 and the color T1B27. And I am placing the knots on top of each other once I get within the last two braids that are on the top of the wig cap but if you wanted to cut this particular hair in half you do have that as an option you will use less packs of hair 
Again, I wanted the dark root that creates a different type of fullness. It's less work that you actually have to do when you have a dark root because you don't have to do like that insane knotless method all over the front because you're dealing with a cap that has a very dark base. Now, make sure to pack the front of the cap is so important. You won't really have like a super defined part unless that's something you're aiming for, but I like that swoop over look. And so right about at the top of the turns of the braid for the front section i started to do the knotless method so that the knots aren't too visible at the top and it looks more natural when i swoop the hair to the side for that side swept look Now I adjusted the straps accordingly and when I put the unit on, when I tell you this hair is thick, it's thick. Do you need to use seven to eight to nine packs of hair? Absolutely not. I actually don't like using the full length of this hair. And I believe that if I cut it in half, it wouldn't have been the exact length that I wanted, the shoulder length look that I'm going for. And plus I like layers. Layers give the illusion of a more natural and realistic style. I mean, as you know, realistic as it can look, but I like a little bit more of a cohesive flow. And if I chop the hair in half, that nine inches isn't gonna allow me to layer as I would like and give that shoulder length look. There was a lot of trimming and layering involved. I took the unit off, trimmed some more. I have videos on this, but this is what I ended up with. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to check out trustithitrust.com. We're having a sale. You can use money off your purchase until the end of February. Let me know in the comment section what looks and styles you're interested in seeing me do more of, and I hope you guys enjoyed my creative process. Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, kiki with me in the comments, and also share this with your homegirl. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Baby, they say you like you are like, I, I get to her, baby, you wanna.